Hello friends, welcome back to the image processing playlist where we have been learning a lot of things and in this session we will learn about edge detection. Uh, edge detection is a vast topic so I am going to take 3 or 4 sessions to completely explain you the edge detection concepts, the available operators etc etc with all coding and demo. So in this session it is going to be an introductory talk where I will tell you the fundamentals, I will tell you what is an edge, why to detect edge and the steps in image processing, I mean edge processing. All those are uh, being uh, dealt in this particular session and I hope you will definitely like it and we will need about 5 to 7 minutes for this session. What is edge detection? This question is the first one that we need to answer before we go uh, further into this session. Edges are nothing but sudden and significant change in the intensity of an image. Understand sudden and significant changes in intensity of an image. This image, these changes, these real changes happen between the boundaries of object in an image. I will show you an example and then explain you this point a little later, maybe about two minutes later. But remember, the intensity change is what we are worried about, and that intensity change in the boundaries is going to help us out, and that is what edges are all about. I am going to show you a mug right now, and the edges are going to be detected in that mug and you can see the sudden intensity change in that image and there is where the edges are detected. Now see that this is the input image that I am talking about and from here to here I am going to use a pointer so that you can see that better. Now this is the grey background what we have and this intensity suddenly gets changed here here in this place it is getting changed. So this is what we are referring to. The edges in the image is nothing but the sudden change in the intensity. Now, if I go through like this, the entire edge, the entire object will be carved easily and this is what is called as an edge. And this helps us in identifying the objects in a particular image and this is all through a simple point that the variation of intensity in the image, particularly to be very precise, the variation of the intensity for the objects in the image is called edge. Now, why to detect edge? There are many reasons for detecting edges. The first reason that one can understand is we need to understand the shape of the object in an image. The easiest way to do that is to detect the edges. Simple. You can understand what the object is. You can understand the shape of the object. It is very easy to understand them only through the edges. There are other methods available, but edges are the easiest way to do it. You know that the process like segmentation, registration and object identification are there. They are techniques where they can be carried out easily provided edges are detected well in advance and the process in which you detect the edges and then you feed it as input to the rest of the steps in the sequence for segmentation or registration or object identification will be much more easier. So edges are to be detected obviously. What are the steps in edge detection? There are three steps in edge detection. One is image smoothening, second one is edge point detection, third one is edge localization. So what do we do here? I have an input image, the same mug. I do an image smoothening process here. Then I go with edge points detection and then I go to edge localization. Finally, I get the edge detected output. So what are all these, sir? I will explain you one by one. The input image may have lot of noise. So I need to remove or suppress the noise without affecting the quality of the image. This process of removing the noise or suppressing the noise without affecting the original quality and the content of the image is called image smoothening. You can see that I have got a lot of noise here. I have smoothened it and I have got a different image which has got the content completely available but still we have not damaged the image quality as well as the image content. This process of removal or suppression of the noise is referred as image smoothening. Next step is uh, the edges are to be detected, I mean the edge points are to be detected. This is about, I told you already, this is about the detection of the variation in the intensity. So I have detected the variation to a very decent extent in this process. V here noise alone will be uh, removed from the image completely, uh, retaining the edges properly. So in the previous step it is for the whole image. Now when you come here, we are going about the objects and the edges where we will try to discard the noises which we identify as noises and to retain only the edges properly. And what is the next step? The final step is edge localization. 
the thinning linking are carried out here where once you do the thinning and the uh, linking process the clear edges are detected and you can get it traced from the picture what i have shown in front of you that's it we have seen the fundamentals of edge detection i am going to talk about the edge detection operators and all in the next session i hope you like the session if you have any suggestions inputs please go ahead and type it in the comment section if you like the channel and the content please give a like and subscribe thank you